Straight for the janitor's closet studio in the basement of DeVry University, it's the Janitor Dwight Podcast. If you may recall, in a previous uh, Snowplow show, Arby went ahead and sent out a ton of text messages insulting different people. And uh, I ran the idea across uh, Dashie's desk and said, you know, hey, why don't we give this a shot? So what we did is we went ahead and combed Craigslist, got a bunch of numbers, and what we did is send out a bunch of insulting texts. We also set it up so once they text back, we could see it on a web page, uh, and then the automated system would send another insulting text back. So we would get them angry enough to at least call in. So this is the podcast with the responses of the people who called in. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. We had a lot of fun doing it, and it turns out there's a lot of pissed off people in Memphis. Yeah, what's up? Hello? Yeah. Who is this, man? Why are you cursing at me? I don't know. Is there a reason I shouldn't be cursing at you? Redneck. Who mother- are you? Redneck son of a bitch. Who are you? <laughs> Who are you, dude? Yeah, this is Brian. Brian, okay. So what the fuck's your problem? Brian who? You been fucking Larissa? I have no idea who you're talking about, dude. I'm in Memphis, Tennessee. Do you know yeah. who you're talking to? Yeah, I sure as fuck No, am. I don't even know a Marissa, dude. No, love Rissa. My father, Lenny, called and said you were fucking her when she was at the college. Lenny? College? I don't even know who you're talking about, guy. My name is Sean. I'm in Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah, that's right. I don't, she went to the don't know University Lenny. of Memphis, and he, she was the first one to go to university and graduate with distinctions, and you tried putting your dirty penis inside of her. Who are you talking about, man? Tried and stuff. I don't even know a Marita or a Marissa or what you're talking about. I'm married. I've been married for 16 years. Her name is Larissa. 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 Okay. I'm sorry, dude, Brian, but I'm starting to get a little upset here because I ain't got a clue who you're talking about. You think you disrespect her? Who in the fuck are you talking about, punk? I don't even know this bitch you're talking about, boy. Now, you better watch how you talk to me and get your people straight, you little punk motherfucker, or you can come to my house, bitch. I'll come over there right now. I don't now, know who the fuck you're talking about. You're on your way here? Yeah. Great. I'll hey, be in motherfucker, the front. you better get your I'll be in the front straight. yard, you little punk, because I don't get... know who the fuck you're talking about, you... and I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, but hey. you ain't talking to me like that in hey. my yard, you little bitch. Come hey, here, punk. you get your cucumber straight, motherfucker. Cucumbers? What in the fuck are you talking about, dude? I don't know this chick, but I'll happily talk to you because you're fucking cussing me. And you can, I don't know you, dude. You got the wrong number, the wrong person, you or something. You don't disrespect her with you, your fucking dick, and then you call her Marissa. Her name's Larissa. You get your pickle straight there, buddy. Look here, dickhead. I don't know no Larissa. I don't know no Marissa. I don't know you. I don't know who the fuck you're talking about. I don't know no goddamn Lenny. And you got the wrong person, and you just fucked up, you ignorant cunt. Now come to my house, bitch. What's your address, you cocksucker? I live in fucking motherfucker. Come on right now. That's here a, I am. At the trailer park? You goddamn redneck, stupid cocksucker. Your, it's a your, nice neighborhood in Memphis. Punk We're going to bring a big old cucumber and hit you over the head with it, motherfucker. I bet you don't do shit. I bet you don't, boy. I'm, I'm standing in my cucumber. driveway. I'm going to take the cucumber in my pants and put it in his butt pussy. I'll tell you that. I bet you don't. I'll bet you I do. I don't know no goddamn Larissa, dude. I have no idea who you're talking about, when you're talking about. I don't yeah, know anybody I, who went to college. I am 53 years old and don't know no college girls. Yeah, I got a question. Uh, what the mouth do? What that mouth do? Look, look here, dickhead. I don't know what you're talking about, who you're talking about, or anything about this. I don't know no Larissa. I don't know anybody in college. I don't know any girls that are college-aged. I don't know who in the hell you think you called, but it is not the person that you intended on calling, or else somebody gave you some wrong just, information trying gave, to get I you. I just gave Lenny the phone. He said that's his voice. That's him. He said confirm. Okay, it's let me him. talk to Lenny. I've never even met Lenny before. How would he know? 
Is it forty? I don't know anybody out? named Lenny. Forty. I don't know anybody. Out? Yeah, I don't know anybody named Lenny. <sighs> you got What'd a nice big yard. We could kick your ass in that big old yard of yours that you got there. Come out. <gasps> five minutes. Who in the hell is this? Oh, this is Lenny. Hello. Do we know? Oh, no, anybody in Lenny? Hello. Do we know? Did you, you know what you guys are you really screwing up? Your penis in my daughter. Mom there that you live with? Is this Robert? You tried to put your penis in my daughter. Is this Robert? Daughter, you, you, do, do, oh, you know what, dude? Do you look? You do it. you know how stupid you sound, buddy? My daughter do you know how stupid you sound? Came around, you son of a bitch. Do you know how stupid you sound? Now, I don't know no Larissa. We don't need people from I, the trailer park trying to fuck my daughter. She's respectable. My God, dude. You sound so retarded. Tell that bitch in the background to shut the fuck up. Men are having conversations. How about you come to... You got my address. How about you come to my house and talk to me like, yeah, you little fucking well, punk. You, you We're, done with, son, We're done with this conversation. We're done with this conversation, dickhead. We're done with this conversation. Hello? Yeah, how you doing there, fucker? Pretty good. How you doing? Not too bad, Sergeant Fuckface. What do you want? Not much. Who is this? Oh, this is Reggie. Home son. What? Home son. All right, what do you want, fucker? Home son. What? Huh? What do you want? You're you texting. You're cursing me out, so oh. how'd you get my number? Well, I got your number from your mother. She says you like to suck dick. No, it's not true because her mother's dead. Yeah, well, I was doing the Ouija board. I got her. I got her, your number from the Great Beyond. Well, that's pretty good. I know. So, what's your fucking problem? You're my fucking problem. Yeah, I'm about to be an even bigger motherfucker. I'm the biggest motherfucker what? ever. So what? 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 You sound like a gas sniffer. You sound like one of them engines drinking the fire water. Sounds like you're choking on a dick. That's what I got to say. What for? Oh, yeah? Is that right? Is that all you got? Yeah, you're big, 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 no, big, no, no. Big. I'm just checking. No, I'm just checking before I start uh, start my end of the Fuck conversation. You, you motherfucker, you dickhead, cunt, bitch, bastard, pussy motherfucker. Okay, is that it? No, that's not even nothing. Well, you better on. get it out of your system because I'm about to tear you apart. Go ahead. Okay, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, hold on a minute. Yep. Hello? What the fuck can we help you with? Who's this? Now, who the fuck is this? You don't call my phone asking that shit. You sent me a text, dickhead. Yeah, what'd the text say? Did it tell you to go fuck yourself? Nah, it told me you're a bitch-ass motherfucker. That's what it said. Yeah, you want those are fighting words. You got a fucking problem? Maybe I do. Who the fuck is this? Why the fuck are you texting my phone? Yeah, this is fucking Dwight. I heard you were trying to put your dirty dick in my uh, my sister Larissa. Who? Yeah, my father Lenny found out he's not too fucking happy and he called me. Who? He said you're trying to put your dirty penis in Larissa's uh, cooter cat hole. Who the fuck is Larissa? Yeah, you, you fucking trying to put your dick in her? And then you don't know what the fuck fucking are you name? talking about? She was the first one in our family to go to university. And she graduated with distinctions. I don't know who the fuck you're talking about. Yeah, well, you better fucking get some act right in your voice. That's what you better start doing. Oh, what are you going to do? Yeah, if you don't, I'm going to come over there and I'm going to kiss you on the lips. And I'm going to fucking grab your nuts. Really? Yeah. I bet you won't do that without getting fucked up. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, I probably need now, some Now, why don't shit. you stop with the tough talk and tell me who the fuck you're talking about? I told you my name's Dwight, and you tried to fuck my sister Larissa. Larissa from where? Yeah, no, don't be trying to play those fucking games. She goes to the university. You tried to date rape her. Date rape? Yeah. Bro, you got the wrong number, homeboy. You hanging out at the bar, putting shit in people's drinks? I don't hang out in bars, big white. Larissa... Dick White, just do White, you get it right. Hey, fag. You got the wrong motherfucker. You're sitting over there putting shit in people's drinks, you asshole. Hey, asshole. I don't fucking put nothing in nobody's drink. I don't need to fucking rape anybody. Why don't you come okay? over here and I don't put something in my house, drink, dickhead. Sweetie.
Come put something in my I don't drink. even go to a fucking bar. I'll fucking, I'll fucking kiss you on the lips. We'll make a fucking love connection. Yeah, really? Yeah. Dude, you, you, you talk really hard on the phone, but you know what? You could get fucked up talking to the wrong person. Oh, yeah? You know that? Yeah, it ain't could, gonna be you. You could get fucked up talking to the wrong person. It ain't gonna be you. It ain't gonna be me? It ain't gonna be you, bitch. I, I guarantee you, if you're in my face, it would be me. Oh, yeah. Tough guy over the phone. Meet me at the Walmart. Yeah. This is what a, this is what a dumbass you are, you fucking idiot. I don't even go to fucking clubs, you jackass. I don't go to bars either, you jackass. I got a fucking... I got a fucking... Son and a wife. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, I think it's only right that you bring your wife over here. I put something in her drink and put my dirty penis in her. Hey, hey, dickhead. I didn't put nothing in nobody's drink, and I wouldn't do that. Yeah, well, okay. bring your so wife you over here. Sound, we gotta get you some keep retribution. sounding tough. Why don't you sound tough to the right motherfucker, okay? We need some retribution. Why don't you bring sound your tough wife to the right here. dude? You babysit your kid, bring your wife over here, and I'm going to put it in her ass. Bitch, you ain't doing shit. And you, you're so fucking dumb, you can't even get the right person you're trying to act I know, I got the right person. I got, she got no, your you number. No, you don't, fat. You gave her her number. You fucking wrote it with a Sharpie on her hand. Okay, wrong answer, bro. I didn't write nobody, I didn't write my number on anybody's fucking yeah. hand with a Sharpie. You asked the bartender for a Sharpie, you wrote it on her hand, and then you date raped her. Maybe next time you don't put the evidence on the hand. Hey, asshole, you got the wrong person. I don't fucking go out of the bars. And I didn't put my fucking name on nobody's hand. Oh, and yeah. I don't know no Larissa. Yeah, Larissa, you tried to fuck her. No, I didn't try to fuck her, okay? She said you got too much, to whiskey, fucking... too much whiskey and your dick wouldn't rise to the occasion. Hey, you dumbass. You're talking to the wrong person, you fucking jackass. You're put your a wife, fucking put your idiot. Wife why, don't on the phone. The, why don't you get the right person, you fucking faggot bitch motherfucker? Call my phone again, motherfucker. Call my phone again. I'll I get this call fucking number to please. You fucking called here. Yeah, well, don't fucking text my phone because I got to text you. Put faggot, your wife on the phone. I want to know where you were last week. You can't even get the right motherfucker, you dumbass. Oh, uh, that's that's typical motherfucker. He tries to assault someone. Now he hides it from the wife. Okay, look, look, buddy. I didn't try to assault anybody. Mm-hmm. And I haven't met anybody. I don't go to bars. Yeah. I haven't met any. I haven't met anybody that I put my fucking number on their hand either. So I'm telling you, you got the wrong fucking number. So maybe, just for a second, why don't you just fucking think about that? You hang on. I'm okay. going to get my father, Lenny, on the phone. Maybe he could straighten this out. He knows the guy's voice. Get you him just, on the phone. You just hang on. I'm going to dial him in. So you're saying this is somebody that, that was met at a bar? Yeah. Is it your daughter? Is it your uh, wife? Uh, no, it's my, si- it's my sister. She's a stripper? No, she's not a fucking stripper. You watch your goddamn mouth. Hey, asshole, I'm asking you a fucking question, okay? Can you know, do you know the fucking difference between an insult and a fucking question? Listen, dick, so I ain't gonna like, watch my mouth for shit. You better get I'm your gonna attitude ask you if she's a control. fucking stripper, I'm gonna ask you that. You gotta get your attitude like a troll, dick lips. You ain't doing shit but talking tough, and you still don't have the right person, you dumbass. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Were you recording it? Nah. So where's your where's your father? I'm trying to get him on the horn. He's an old man. You got the wrong person, man. I'm Hello, trying to tell you. This is Lenny. Yeah, Hello? Lenny. Lenny, this is the fucking guy that tried to date rape Larissa. Uh, hey, sorry, I, I can barely hear you there. Hey, nobody tried to date rape Marissa or whatever her name is. Is it it's Larissa La- or Larissa, Larissa with an L? Larissa. Okay, what bar did she meet this this this. person at? Oh, good. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it's him. It's him. Yeah, Lenny, it's him. Nobody tried to date rape anybody. Uh, Someone someone did did say last week, someone did call last week about the same thing. Was, Was that you? Hey, listen, I got a text. I got a text from whoever this jackass is on the phone. Sorry, what was, what was your name again? I'm not telling you my name, but I'm I'm telling you that you need to stop calling, or your your buddy here needs to stop calling my phone. And I didn't try to rape. I don't know a Larissa or a Marissa, and I don't I don't rape anybody. I'm a God fearing man. 
and I don't rape anybody, and I don't go to bars. Well, it, it's funny that you should call because my third eldest, Larissa, uh, she she was talking about this uh, just just last week, and uh, you know she she's well, she is very smart. I'll, I'll give her that because you know she was the first in the family to go to university, and she passed with distinctions. You know, we're we're all quite. Proud of her, yes, yes. So, um, yeah, she was saying that I should uh, look, you know, get into the look into this sort of thing. Um, so, what more can you tell me about it? Sir, you, you know, and I don't go to bars. I don't. I'm, uh, I'm sorry, I, I couldn't quite catch you. Did catch you there? What, what was that again? Okay, first of all, I'm not telling you my name because I don't know you. Okay, second of all, I don't go to bars. But the, but the, sorry, again? I said I don't go to bars, and I don't write my name on women's hands. And I don't rape Could anybody. Could you say that again, again please? Hello? Yeah, I'll say it to your face, motherfucker. Huh? I'll say it to your face. i do it. Do what? I'll say it to your face. Who the fuck? Well, come on, motherfucker. Fuck you, dude. You don't even know who the fuck I am. You know, you you don't spell a bet right. You said beat. I beat you won't, won't say it. You're dumb redneck son of a bitch. Uh, you think you're fucking funny, dude? I know I'm I will funny. fuck you up. Why you be trying to fuck my sister, you little pecker? I don't even know who the fuck your sister is, you trying to fuck my sister. You try to fuck my sister Larissa, and my father Lenny is not happy about it. You try to put your dirty penis in her. Dude, you're fucking crazy. Yeah, but you're even more crazy trying to put your dirty penis in my sister. I'm the only one to put my. Fuck pe- is your sister? I'm the only one to put my penis in my sister. Yeah, you probably do, you sick fucking bastard. So you keep your dirty motherfucking hands off her. I don't even know who the fuck you're talking about. Yeah, but yeah, when I, I find I, you, I'm gonna beat really. you to fucking death, you fucking faggot. Yeah, what you got to beat? You hear me? Your limp wrist. You're gonna just slap me and shit. Fuck, no, I'm going to beat the fuck out of you because you're a stupid little fucking prank-calling bitch. I am prank-calling shit, motherfucker. Man, I ain't got time for you little bitch ass. This is fucking bullshit. If you was a real man, you'd come to my fucking face instead of goddamn on the phone, you fucking bitch. Where do you want to meet at, you motherfucker? Motherfucker, I'll meet you any goddamn where because I'm going to beat you to goddamn death. You want to meet at the Walmart? Well, Walmart, you gonna meet that you, you stupid motherfucker? Pick, you fucking pick one, and I'll meet you there, and I will fuck you in the ass. You can fuck your way out of a wet paper bag, you dumb motherfucking stupid bitch. You know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna meet you at the Walmart. I'm gonna fuck you in the ass raw. I'm gonna make it nice and red. But I'm gonna go inside and get you a nice soothing ointment to rub on it, and you can take it home with you as a parting gift. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Motherfucker, I will fight you, and I will fuck you up. I'll go inside get you a nice big fucking lollipop to go with it, you little bitch. Yeah, motherfucker, well, I'll, I'll, use, I'll see how you like it when I'm beating your ass, and I stick my goddamn rifle up your ass and blow your fucking brains out, you fucking bitch. What flavor of lollipop you want? Motherfucker, you're a fucking dead man. Oh, yeah? I'm a dead man? Motherfucker. Yeah, you are, because I will find you, and I will fuck you up, you fucking faggot. Who you, who you think you are, Liam Neeson? This isn't taking you, son of a bitch. Do what? <laughs> Do what now? I forgot you don't own a TV, you trailer park motherfucker. No, I don't live in a trailer park, you dumb motherfucker. Motherfucker. Oh, shit. No problem. You listen, I'll take you to Walmart, and after I pound your ass, I'll buy you a tent to live in. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm, I bet. Mm. 
You probably couldn't buy a goddamn 25 cent fucking sun drop, you damn bitch. I'm going to take you, I'm going to shave that fucking goatee right off your face, too. I ain't got a goatee, you dumb ass. The big fucking bushy eyebrows. Look like one of them terrorists. Okay. Goddamn mm. meth addict. A what? You're a meth addict. A meth addict? You be cooking that shit back in your kitchen. Uh, huh. I ain't got a kitchen. I'm trailer park trash, remember? You dumb motherfucker. Even fucking trailers have a kitchen, you cocksucker. I like it when you, you know, I see those pictures of you before riding them horses and shit. You like getting your nuts bucked on. <laughs> <laughs> Are you done, you cocksucker? No, motherfucker, because I'm going to find you and I'm going to beat the fuck out of you. Well, let's hear it there, Leroy. Leroy is a faggot. Huh? Leroy is a faggot. Come on, John. Let's hear your bullshit. Uh, Dude, you started fucking with me. I don't even know who the fuck you are. Come on, Johnny boy. I bet you fuck Leroy in the ass, don't you? You love to fuck them horses. Man, you're a sick motherfucker. You know that? I'm going to go out there and kick your fucking horse. <laughs> if you ever come anywhere close to my house, I'll blow you a fucking way, you stupid bastard. With what, your finger? You're going to do one of them pew, pew, fucking shit like that? Hell yeah, I'm going to go out there and make noise. Yeah. I know you're going to be pointing your little index finger and go pew, pew, just like when you're playing Cowboys Indians. Yeah. I bet, you, I bet you don't even know how to use a gun. You're Dude, a if you ain't got nothing better to do than this, you're a fucking, re- you've got a real good goddamn life, don't you? You just tried to put your penis in my sister Larissa, and that's what stemmed from this. Oh, who the fuck you are? Goddamn Obama supporter. Oh, yeah, hell no. You damn nigger loving fucking faggot. Hey, you don't talk to me like that. <laughs> Motherfucker, I'm going to find you and I'm going to whoop your goddamn ass. Yeah, you don't even know how to use a gun. Being an Obama supporter, I doubt you even have a gun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. keep thinking that, big boy. Yeah, well, prove me wrong there, cowboy. Yeah, that's what I thought. Just sitting there with your fucking thumbs, just twiddling away. Goddamn dick. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what you think, you fucking faggot. How much you charge to fuck that horse? I'll tell you what. If you'd come here to watch so I can whoop your goddamn ass. I don't like- want to watch. I want to participate. Hell, you can have it. Come on, motherfucker. My address is that. If you mad enough, come on out here, motherfucker. I dare you. I fucking double dog dare you because you ain't fucking mad enough. Yeah, what's that address again? Stanfield? Listen, oh, I'm gonna break. Not- I'm gonna break Leroy's fucking back leg to send you a message. Well, it'll be the last goddamn message you seen because I'll kill you, you motherfucker. He's going to be lipping around. He's going to be sitting there, whatever fucking noise they make. Man, dude, fuck you. Fuck you. You know, he's, when I got that leg broke, I'll fuck him in the ass and he can't get away. If I'm a real goddamn man, you fucking bitch, quit talking all your shit and come be about it. Don't talk about it, be about it, you fucking little bitch. Your fucking house resembles a shack. I don't give a damn what my house resembles. Does your roof cave in when it rains? Fuck, man. We live in a goddamn camper, you stupid bastard. In a camper? Who did you steal you that from? Put the shit on the phone and goddamn come say it to my face. Who would you steal that camper from, boy? 
This is a fucking joke. You're a fucking late. Why don't you go pop that rifle off, you son of a bitch? You proved me wrong, you Obama supporter. You ain't got no goddamn guts, boy. You ain't got no goddamn brains either. I ain't got no guts. I told you when I leave, you stupid bastard. Come on, I ain't got no guts. Yeah, and even if you had one, you don't know how to fucking use it. Prove you got a gun. Shoot the fucking phone. Be a man. Pussy. You're fucking stupid, dude. Yeah, see, pussy. If you're a real man, you'd do it. If you were a real man, you'd come say this shit to my face, but you're a pussy and want to call somebody on a goddamn phone. If you were a real man, you'd come say that to my dick. Well, where the fuck you at? I will, because I'm going to beat the fuck out of you. I'm at the fucking Walmart shopping right now, motherfucker. That's why I told you to meet me here. You said any Walmart, you dumb fuck. Mm Mm-hmm. I'm shopping. I'm getting them low, low prices. Dude, you ain't wasting no more of my time, because if you were a real man, you'd either tell me where you want me to meet you, and I'd come whoop your ass, or you'd come here, because I just told you where I live. I'll tell you what, I'm going to get some chocolate syrup from the ice cream aisle, I'm going to put it all over my dick, and I'm going to let you suck on it right now and have a nice dessert treat. Dude, come on over here, and I'll do it. Come on over here. Come on. I'm going to meet out of that son bitch and leave this skin a hanging, you fucking faggot. And then I'm going to fucking whoop your goddamn ass. Come on over. I'll suck it. Come on. The Walmart's only 10 minutes away from your dumb ass. Why don't you come on over? Because you're not at the goddamn Walmart. Mm-hmm. Come on over, cowboy. Come on, cowboy. You're not at the Walmart, dude. I'm not fucking stupid. I'm at the Walmart. Bitch. Bitch. I'm going to show you your bitch when I fucking find you, motherfucker. Where the fuck are you at? I'm at the Walmart. I'll wait 30 minutes for your ass. And if you don't show, you're a pussy. (laughs) Motherfucker, the Walmart's only 10 minutes away from you. Don't be trying to play no fucking games. I know where goddamn Walmart's at. Yeah, and if you don't show up in the next 30 minutes, you're a fucking pussy. So your little locust police can be out there waiting on me, huh? I ain't no pussy. and call no police. <laughs> well, then come on out, then, bitch. Out here in the country, in the boondocks, with my trailer and my trailer park, or with fucking my sister and my goddamn mule. Come on, you motherfucking faggot. You keep... Can- you keep it up and you wake up in the morning that trailer is going to be fucking gone I'm going to have it towed away motherfucker I'll take my goddamn loader and push your goddamn shit away fuck you come on you fucking faggot it's not trash how may I help you you got something to say bitch boy one more time? You got something to say, bitch boy? Bitch boy. Who's bitch boy? I think that's you. I think that's your nickname, motherfucker. Oh. I don't think there's a bitch boy here. I think you uh How's sound your mom? Like, I, I, I think you sound fruitier than Fox of Fruit Loops. Oh, is that supposed to be an insult? Definitely. Oh, that's cool. Where do you live? Alhambra? Santa Clarita. None of your business, motherfucker. Santa Clarita? Is that where you're from, Santa Clarita? Maybe at the 7 Eleven in Vegas. Vesalia. Vesalia, right? You got some cow shit in your boots. Meet me at the 7 Eleven at Van Nuys. The 7 Eleven at Van Nuys. I'll I'll show you where I'm. You know how big this city is? Van Nuys? The 7-Eleven at Van Nuys. Are you fucking high? Van Nuys Boulevard, motherfucker. Fuck you. Who the fuck are you kidding? What the fuck are you going to do about it, bitch? What the fuck are you going to do about it? You sound sound like you're bald during your goddamn throat right now. 
I'll fucking cut your neck out, bitch. Call me a demon, motherfucker. I'll fuck you up. Do fuck it. you. Do it then. Call me a demon. Fuck you. Come here now. I'll cook your ass, bitch. Fuck right. you. Let's do it. Not for me, <laughs> motherfucker. I will fuck you up. I'm going to fuck you and your goddamn mom, bitch. Don't have fuck a heart you. attack, motherfucker. Sound like you're about to have a heart attack, bitch boy. Hello? Yeah, hello. Uh, you have the wrong number. Bitch, don't tell me I got the wrong number. I know how to work a phone. Okay, so who you texting? I'm texting my fucking girl. She's been cheating and sucking a lot of strange dick. Okay, so why are you texting my phone? This is not her number. This is her phone. You're trying to fucking play games, being all cute and shit. Give her the phone, bitch. Hello? Yeah, hello. Hey, uh, this is my wife you were talking to. I'm sorry, man. I know you mad at some bitch, but hey, it's the wrong number. Right? Yeah, no, that is that um. Uh, no. Yeah, that's Miss right? Miss who? Mrs. No, what, what's up? Listen, I, I, listen, no, I call her, I call her Letty. I've been fucking her for a while now. Really? Yeah. You sure? Where y'all met? We met at the McDonald's. I was working there. When was that? Huh? What? When, when was it? When, when was the last time? When, what, when was it? Oh, the last time we had sex was two weeks ago. Really? I like big girls. I gave her a free uh, one of them combo meals. Oh, okay. Uh, what part? What part of town? Uh, you know, over by the university. University of Memphis. Yeah, but there's that. We like to go down to this one park where, like, she likes to. To feed the geese and shit. Oh. What was the name of the park? Huh? I don't know. She's the one who always takes me there. It's usually dark. I don't usually see the signs. Uh, okay. So how so long y'all So put her back on the phone. I want to fucking talk to you. No, it's, it's okay. I mean, it's cool, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm cool with you, bro. Just just let me know. Uh, How long y'all been uh, going out? Well, I, I wouldn't call it going out, but it's like... It's been about about six months. Six months. Six months. Yeah. Wow. Uh. So so y'all met at the McDonald's. Yeah. The one over okay. by the one over by Walmart. The one by the Walmart. Yeah. Uh, Walmart. What? Well, which, which one? The one by Walmart. There's a lot of Walmarts. What part? I know. I know. But pull her back on. I won't talk. Uh, no, I'm sorry. You know, I'm the man. No, you know, I just I'm concerned. Know because... I'm concerned because black black men have a propensity for violence. I know I fucked that up, but no, no, no. Hey, hey, trust me, man. I, I ain't got no. I, I'm not like that. It's, it's, like I will just walk away rather than staying it. So, yeah. I mean, just give me details. I, I, just, I don't want to admit want, you. I just want to know. I just like putting it in her butt. I, I just want to know if it is true, though. That's that's all. That's all it is. Yeah. Well, I gotta talk. I gotta talk to her. Cause I gotta tell her. I gotta. Oh, I, I mean, gotta, I gotta tell her I'm I'm pregnant. You gotta tell her you're pregnant. Yeah. Oh. What? <laughs> uh. Okay. So we're you're preg- just messing well, around. No. Right? It's, no. It's we're pregnant. She's pregnant with my kid. We're pregnant. That's the results came back today. The results came back today. Uh-huh. And we went to pregnant. the clinic. We went to the clinic. They sent out, and they mailed me the results. Uh-huh. We sent it over here. We're pregnant. Okay. There's, really? Um, this, I, you know, I didn't know that. So she she comes to your place to fuck, right? Yeah. Well, we don't usually go to my place. We usually just find somewhere to park. Oh, so y'all do it, you know, like in the park or somewhere else, right? Yeah, usually, like, we'll find, like, even Walmart parking lines, it's nice, because I got a, I got a Dodge Neon, and it's got a nice back seat. Oh, okay. I give her, I give her money uh, sometimes, like, $25 every time we get done. 
Oh, okay. I, I didn't know that. Uh, so, I mean, so you know, you know, you know, I mean, you seem like you're saying the truth, though. You know her name. Um, did you know, you know, I mean, she was, she was married? No, she didn't tell me she was married. She didn't tell you she was married. No, that's a kind of a shock to me right now. Oh, uh, man, I... I I, I did I didn't know either that originally she said she had to make some money. Uh huh. You said hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> no, hold up. I, I'm just trying to see. You sound like a white person. Who you Can I talk? Okay, just relax. If it is not true, you don't have nothing to worry about. Just relax. Can you relax? I want to talk to you. So I then mean, I'm gonna give. You the phone so you can talk to him. Just relax. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, man, I'm putting it on the speaker so she okay. can hear it. So, uh, yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. So, uh, so, but why you got out of town number though? Where were you from? What? Well, I'm no, I'm from Georgia originally. I drive up like every now and again and stuff because I've been working, I've been doing the construction shit on the side of the road, you know, doing the flag holding. Right. Uh-huh. So like I I'm all over the place so we don't see each other all the time but like you know every couple of weeks you know me and her we we find a nice spot and we kind of just pound it out and I give her twenty five bucks. Do, do you, how how old how old is she? Do you know how old she? Is? What's that? No, nah, she. I mean, how old? Is she she told me she was twenty three. Uh, so so how does she look? What's that? How does she? Do you know? Can you describe her? Like. Can you describe her format in terms of how she looks? Oh yeah. Well, you you want me to describe her? Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah she's she's a bigger girl. She's a bigger girl. She got nice hair. She usually keeps it cut like just just below her ears. She's got a real nice smile. Uh -huh. She's got a real nice smile. And uh -huh. uh, <clears throat> shit. And uh, she got a tattoo on her left arm. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. And um, I mean, we can go further. I mean, but yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Some more, okay. And uh, I think I believe she got I she got the brown eyes. We don't, we're not usually looking in each other's eyes. She got nice, nice big rack. Um, uh huh. But you know, it's she's a bigger girl, so you know it. You know, you can't really tell exactly how big it is. You can't tell if it goes into the rolls or not. But that's how I roll. That's how that's what I like. That's what I'm into. Right, right. So, what was the hours y'all normally met? You know, I didn't notice a, a wedding ring or anything like that. Uh, I, I mean, what like what hours do y'all meet on fuck? That's what I want to know. Oh, we do we what do it, we do it at night usually. Like it depends when I get off of my shift because you know I'm I'm busy and stuff and I just you know I'm like hey, you know I call her up so, and I'm like hey, yeah, let's, let's, let's go meet. I'm like go ahead and meet me over at the McDonald's. Meet me at the McDonald's and then. We go out and I find a nice area. We sometimes it's like a, a back road or something, or I take it to the park, or we just go, you know, a couple times we just go to the Walmart parking lot. We just get towards the back of the lot when it's where it's not a lot of people, and we just fuck there. Okay, so you give her twenty five dollars, fifty bucks, something yeah, like that. Yeah, well, you know, she said, you know, stuff like I got to go get my hair done, or I got to pay the phone bill, or something. Like, twenty five bucks. I'm like, yeah, you go, you know, here and there. Some sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. So, so she got a you you did describe the fact that she got a tattoo on her left arm. So, do you know what kind of tattoo tattoo is that? What kind of tattoo? And no, it's, it's a little it's a little dark. We never explore that part. You know, usually we just you know I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bullshit you, but usually it's we do it doggy style. So, okay. so you know I'm not I'm not all the way up in the front like that. We're usually, I'm usually in the back, just you know slapping and pounding. <laughs> Jesus Christ! So she, <laughs> you know, it has some writing on it, but I don't remember what it says. Oh, uh, it got some writing on it. Yeah, that's true. It, it, it got it got some writing on it. Yeah. So, so what? So would you say the hours will be maybe around nine o'clock, ten o'clock at night? Uh, yeah, I would say probably around. I usually get done like around. I don't know. Usually, I get done around seven, seven thirty. But then I got a shower, and sometimes I got to pick some uh -huh. stuff. Up. So it. Sometimes it's a lot later. Sometimes or I just can't, you know, it's never been a, a regular time. So did, so yeah, so the last time y'all met was, uh, you said last week, right? 
Last, yeah, no, it was two weeks ago, not last week. Two weeks. Ago. Oh, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. So it's like a quick session. So y'all meet at the parking lot or wherever. Y'all do quick fucking and does it come back home, right? Something right. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I so pay twenty five bucks maybe. and and then. You know, we're, you know, sometimes, you know, and then she's just on, you know, we're on our way and we go separate ways and we just keep in touch. And... Okay. And do, do, I mean, is this the number y'all normally use to get in touch with each other or do y'all use different number? No, I usually do this number. You know, like I use when I text, you know, fuck you, motherfucker, that's just code. And then um, because she said. <clears throat> She was starting to see this one guy, and you know it's it's code. So he she just be like, oh, you know, look wrong, you know, wrong number. They, I don't know who this is, and then she deletes the text. Oh, you know, and I, I apologize. I didn't I didn't know she was married. No, 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 man. I mean, you you good, man. I mean, if she's doing that, I mean, hey, even you know what she was married. She's the one on the wrong side. So yeah. I'm not gonna blame you for anything. But um, you know, I'm cool, man. I'm not a violent does, person. I'm not gonna go. Have, her, you does know. she already have kids? No, she ain't got no kids. Okay, because, like, I mean, this is going to be my first child, too. Yeah, so, yeah, so you said she, she's, so the paperwork is, so the paperwork is at your home yeah, right it, now. Yeah, it came today. Came today? Yeah, it came, I mean, came back from Dr. You, you Valente, Dr. Valente's office. Valente, what hospital is that? Which no, hospital? He's, got, he's got a private practice. It's over you by the, it's over by it's over by the hospital, but it's not associated with the hospital. You you can snap the picture and just you know fix it to this phone. Yeah, you, you need a, you need a, you need a picture of the paper and it says that she's pregnant. Yeah, just yeah, just her name showing her name. Just snap it real quick and you can just fix you know, it. I, I had to get you know. I had to get proof because she try she I felt she was trying to scam me. She's trying to get me to give her you know two hundred fifty dollars for an abortion, and I had to make sure. Well, I mean, you know, I mean, let, let me ask you, nobody's paying you to say this kind of stuff, right? Or oh, nobody, no, no, you know. no, 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 right? no, you know, I felt after she, she kind of yelled at me on the phone. I thought maybe, maybe, you know, she had another guy and now you're, I'm talking to you. It turns out you're, you're married. Right. I mean, we are definitely married. Um, how, lo- how long have you been married for? I mean, we've been married for a while, but I, I just want to know, you said six months, um, uh, Mm-hmm. So, so y'all met because you know you give yeah y'all met at the McDonald's. You gave her some food. That's what you said, right? Yeah, I bought yeah I bought her a meal. You bought her a meal. Wow. And uh, what what's your name? I'm sorry. Oh, my name is my name is Dwight. Dwight. Yeah. All right. Um. And uh, is it, so those is her nickname. So do you have a real name? Like, no, she always Lita. just told me to call her Lita. I just called her Lita, and I, I didn't even call her just Lita. Lita, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, Man, we were, we were at the McDonald's. I bought her, a, I bought her a meal. We sat down at the table. We're talking. Next thing you know, her foot was in my crotch, and it was like that's what started it all. <laughs> she came on to me. She I, came on to me, man. I, you know, I apologize. Yeah. I mean, we've been married for a while, and I mean, she 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 never did that, but that, that's weird. That, huh? Lita, man, Lita, don't say that. Don't say that. Come on. I don't know who the fuck, okay, no, no. Who the fuck you are. <laughs> we should have all that time okay. together. Now you're doing this to me. Come on. I do not know who it is. Hang up the phone. I don't time know. to be open. It's time to be open. You've been caught. I, I, you you black, right? You you're not white. No, I'm no, I'm I'm white. I'm mixed. I'm white and Mexican. I don't fuck with no white or Mexican men. First of all, yeah, you know, white that's, what she, so that's what she said at the beginning too. That's what she said. You know, a big, a big Mac meal and twenty five dollars later, everything changed. Why are you entertaining some weirdo that's texting my phone? That I don't know nothing about. I don't know that man. Please don't entertain me something like that. Yes. Maybe you're a grown ass man. I do not know him. First of all, I don't fuck with black people or Mexicans. Yeah, before t- before this, she told us or told me that she didn't fuck with black guys or Mexicans, and now she's saying white guys are Mexicans. It, kinda, <laughs> oh, it, it really hurts. I thought we had something special. Uh, we you. 
like you you sound like you black to me i don't know but yeah. um but uh, this, uh, any any other information you have on her like you can tell me that okay. you know please hang up the phone why are you entertaining just, just somebody black, right? like that? I don't know who the fuck that is. No, just black. Like, uh, I don't know if they got a hold of my internet or Facebook or something. That's how they know my name. Malika. I'm, just, I'm I don't so know whole heartbroken over this. Why are you doing this, girl? Why are you denying it? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm friendly. Hold on. Okay. okay, hold on. So this, this is what I want to know. Just snap the picture if you have it. Please just oh, yeah. snap it and I'll snap it. it. Then you can have, you can have her if you want to. Just I just want to I just want to see the some, picture. I've got some other pictures though, like real risque stuff that we did. You know, we took together. There's pictures of us together, and then you know she had me take oh, really? some of her, yeah some of her naked in the car. And you know she said, keep, keep this, you got, you keep got those pictures? Yeah, she said keep this for while we're separating. You got those pictures? Oh yeah, they're on my phone. Outdoor sex was our thing. It was our fetish. Okay, hold on a minute. So, so you you think you can send, you can take those pictures, or you don't want to take? take oh those no, pictures? yeah, no, I'll send them. I'll send them to you. Everything. Okay, the can you do it out of the them? bag now? I mean, there's no sense in hiding them. Right, right. So, I mean, can you text it while we talking right now? Can you text it? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you get the the uh, phone. I kept them on a separate phone. It was one. Okay, I switched carriers. And uh, so yeah, go, go ahead and fix it because I thought it was the wrong number since it was out of town. But now that you're saying all this stuff, yeah. I mean, you go. I, the picture is a real proof here. I mean, if you can get me those, that that would be awesome, man. She did this real this real sexy pose one time. Uh, we, when we stopped back at my place, I had this hotel room for a couple of days, and she grabbed one of the uh, one of these black chairs, and she kind of you know put her right arm on it and kind of stood there with her legs kind of crossed, and she was she was naked. Okay, just yeah. text me the pictures, okay? You you think you can do that for me yeah, right now? Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm trying to do it right now. Can I talk to her while I'm texting this? No, no, just text it to me. Then yeah. after then after that you can talk. Oh, to her. She, she's a beautiful oh, big, she's a beautiful big woman. I love it. Okay, that's fine. Give me my phone, please. Okay. I'm let me, so let me talk, mad let me talk to her. I entertaining it. Do you think I will tell you? Did you text it then? Yeah, I'm, I'm, te- I'm texting. I'm texting. Hey, do you have a phone okay. that I can text it to? Because I'm afraid she might try to hide. She might try to delete it. Okay, just text it. I'm, I'm waiting, man. Do you, do you got a phone? Because I don't want I don't want to send it to her and then she deletes it. No, no, no. That's, I, I got the phone. I got the phone. So you don't have to worry about it. Okay. Yeah, I'm sending it. Lita, okay. I don't know. I don't know why you're doing this, girl. Let me send this. Hang on. Yeah, don't worry about it. I, se- I sent it. I sent it. Okay. So you should get it. You should get it any second. I don't know why she's doing this. Okay. Uh, she called. She called me my. She called me her little taco. She demanded it in an endearing way. She's oh my little taco. Um, <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, between okay. that, between that, she oh my little Mexican jumping bean. Uh, uh, um, I okay so. It didn't come yet. I'm waiting for it. Yeah, I sent it. It's, it should be there. I sent the video too. The video. Yeah, there's a video. Um, it should, it should not take this long. I, I don't know. Why. Well, the video it was it was a ten minute long video, so it's gonna take a few. And that's in there. No, I, I, I just I'm need. And I just need one, one picture. That's all I need. Oh, just one picture. Just hang up on this yeah, guy, sent, man. No. Hang on, my, hang room, up my, my roommate. It's, no, dude, I, this guy deserves to know. No, but, you know, he. You just hang up. Let them deal with it, you know? Don't get in the middle of this. Dude, give me the I fucking want no phone. Drama the phone in my back. I don't want no drama back. in my apartment. Hang on, he took my phone, the one with the pictures. I don't want no drama in my apartment, sir. Me the, Can you just hang up, give me sir? The, give me the phone. I want no drama in my apartment, and I want to be responsible if you kill this woman. So just no, hang Lita, up, sir. No, Lita, she's a good woman. I, this guy, he says I can have her now. So there you have it. We had about uh, about 50 minutes worth of nice calls. They came out just the way we wanted them. I hope you all enjoyed them. And uh, I'll see you guys next time on the Janitor Dwight podcast.